Hey, what's up everyone? It's Derek from Nerd or Die. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to accept, send, and cash out cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum for your stream. This requires no prior knowledge of cryptocurrency. And I'll show you how we can set this up using Streamlabs alerts as well. Let's get right into it. To start off, you may be wondering, why would I wanna send or accept crypto tips for streaming? And there's quite a few reasons, but first, you'll receive no chargebacks with crypto. Once the currency is sent to your wallet, it stays there unless you want to do something with it. Second, it will allow you to send and receive money anonymously. This means that your email or other information that can sometimes be shared by PayPal will stay anonymous. Finally, with cryptocurrency becoming more and more popular, this might be a great way to introduce yourself to this new type of currency and just kind of get a feeling for what it's all about. I should mention that altcoins will be added in the future as well, and if you don't know what that means, then don't worry about it too much. So how do we go about all of this? And to start, we're gonna need three different accounts with three services, and they're gonna be Coinbase, OneUpCoin.com, and Streamlabs. Let's go ahead and start with Coinbase. Coinbase is a website that allows you to buy and sell cryptocurrency quickly and easily. I've included a referral link in the description below where we'll both receive a $10 bonus if you purchase $100 worth of cryptocurrency over time. Anyways, we're gonna take a really good look at Coinbase as it's pretty important to understand. And the other two services that I mentioned are very easy to use and set up. You can think of this service kind of like PayPal, but rather than putting money in like the US dollar, you'll use it to purchase and sell portions of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum, three of the most popular cryptocurrencies at the moment. Simply sign up for Coinbase via the referral link and then enter in the information requested. I highly recommend that you also enable two-factor authentication on your settings profile page. On the dashboard, you might see some steps to complete your account. If you haven't done these already, then go ahead and complete these. Adding your bank account is recommended as once you sell your coins, you can deposit directly back into your bank account. You might notice that you can also use credit cards here to buy coins as well. However, they come with a lot higher fees, but they are instant purchases. You can also add in your PayPal account, but you can only use this to deposit money into meaning that once you sell your coins, they'll be sent to your PayPal address. Let's take a look at the Coinbase site just a little bit more. The dashboard will give you a quick glance at the current prices of each coin, as well as what's in your portfolio. The buy and sell tab will do exactly what it says. And once we have some coins in here, I'll show you how you can sell your coins properly. Accounts will give you a better look at your transactions. And I wanna say that I highly recommend going through all the settings tabs and reading more about the settings you can use for your account as it'll help you secure your account and give you a little more options. Now that we have our Coinbase account set up and ready to go, let's move on to accepting cryptocurrency for tips. So to do that, we're gonna head over to oneupcoin.com. Again, the link will be in the description below. And this site was actually created by Jakku. This is the same guy that brought us Warp World and other great streaming applications that a lot of us use. And I do wanna mention really quick that the site is pretty new, so designs might change a little bit, but the process should remain mostly the same. You can take a look at the site, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is connect our Twitch account. While we use our Twitch account here mainly to log in, it doesn't mean that you're limited to streaming with the alerts for Twitch only. Once you're done with connecting your account, let's move on to connecting the Streamlabs account. And in order to receive alerts, this is what we need to do. We'll click approve once you're logged into Streamlabs. And then finally, let's click and connect for our Coinbase account. With all of that ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and click on the donation link. This will take you to your donation page, which is really similar to how Streamlabs operates. This page was what you'll link in your Twitch panels or in your chat to let people know where they can send you your cryptocurrency. I'll show you the sending process towards the end of this video. Now you might be asking, how do we receive alerts when we receive cryptocurrency from our viewers? Since you're already connected with their Streamlabs account, this app will use your current alerts like it was a donation or tip through Streamlabs. Meaning if I open up my Streamlabs alert link, 
and I click send test alert through the oneupcoin.com page, you'll see an alert come up as normal. And this will work with any alerts compatible with Streamlabs. As you can see, I'm actually using our newer RetroWave alert set here. And then finally with oneupcoin.com, if you'd like to see your donation history, you can click the donation link to see all of the past events with your cryptocurrency donations or tips. All right, so we have everything set up, but how do we cash out cryptocurrency? I went ahead and sent a tip to myself of some Litecoin through my donation link. We'll now be able to see that it came through in my history page, but where is this currency stored? The answer to that is on our Coinbase account. Inside of Coinbase, we can go back over to that and see that I received some crypto in the accounts tab. In the buy and sell tab, I can click on the sell tab at the top, then I can select sell from and deposit to. For sell from, in this example, I'll sell from my Litecoin wallet, which is the cryptocurrency that I just received. For deposit to, you can select where you'd like your money to be sent. There's even an option to leave your money on Coinbase as USD or dollars or whatever the currency your country is using. This is useful if you want to sell some of your coins and then possibly buy more in the future, but maybe we'll leave this for a video at a later time. Anyways, if you want your money to come out directly, select your bank account or your PayPal account. And in this example, I select my bank account. Then below, I'll see how much I want to sell. On the right, I can enter a specific amount of Litecoin or click the max button, which will sell all of our Litecoin. And on the left, it will show you how much this transfers to in USD or the currency that you use. Finally, just hit the big sell button at the bottom. And then there's just one more button to click that is to finalize the sale. And one thing that I do wanna note is that it can take up to five to seven days for the money to reach your account, and this is completely normal. Your coins will be sold right away, but depositing it does take a little bit of time through Coinbase. The last part of this video will cover how to send cryptocurrency through oneupcoin.com. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is actually receive or purchase some cryptocurrency through an exchange like Coinbase. And I do want to mention that you can send these coins from any crypto wallet that you use, but to keep things simple, we're going to use Coinbase in this example. If you purchase the coins by using your bank account, your coins will not be available instantly unless you use a credit card. And again, credit cards do have a bit higher fees. Once your coins are available, head over to the oneupcoin.com donation link for whoever you'd like to send your coins to. Enter in your Twitch name if you'd like and the currency that you'd like to send, then click to generate a QR code and wallet address. Think of this QR code like an email address that you're sending money to. Now Coinbase does have a phone app and if you're using that, you can click the send button at the top right of your wallet of choice. And in this instance, I'm using Litecoin. You'll enter the amount that you'd like to send and after you hit the send button, you can click the QR code icon and scan a QR code that's shown on the screen from the oneupcoin.com donation link and then complete the send from there. If you're on your computer, however, you wanna go into the accounts tab and then click on the send button for the type of coin that you'd like to send. Copy the address created by the oneupcoin.com donation page and then paste it into the Litecoin address. Enter in the amount you'd like to send hit continue, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you stuck around for this video and still have questions, which it is completely normal to have a bunch of questions about cryptocurrency, then please ask in the comments below, or feel free to ask me on my stream as well. I also wanna recommend that you should check out Jakku's stream as well. He makes a lot of great stuff. He plays Mario Maker, and I'm sure he'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about oneupcoin.com. Links for both are in the description below. One last thing I'd like to mention is that if you have any video recommendations that are inside the streaming world, please let me know what you'd like to see. We're trying to do some different things such as this cryptocurrency video and perhaps some other types of videos coming soon. So any recommendations from our viewers is amazing. So we really appreciate that. And if you'd like, please make sure to subscribe with notifications on because we do have some more great streaming content coming your way. And of course, alerts, overlays, and all that great stuff. As always, everyone, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.